What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode When do I marry my woman and make her my wife? Somebody asked me that question, man. And you know what? I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of y'all, y- y'all looking for a wife. I be having consultations, and a lot of y'all like y'all emphasize how you want to meet the right type of girl, settle down, and and get married and have a family. You know what I mean? Despite all the red pill content you all listen to, a lot of y'all want to have a wife. So the question is. When do you marry her or when should you marry her? So check this out. I don't know about y'all, but this is what it will take for me to marry her. First and foremost, I ain't going to marry no girl in a couple years. I don't care how much of a good woman she's been to me. I don't care about none of that. See, and that's the thing. I don't want y'all to get fooled by that. See, you got to marry a woman based off her loyalty. And as oddly as this might sound, you can't marry a woman just off her looks. Although her looks are important, you can't marry her off her looks. You must marry her mostly on her loyalty because that will determine whether she'll be a good wife to you or not for eternity. Think about this. A lot of you dudes, you marry a woman based off her looks and her sex game. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, you marry her off her looks and her sex game. You don't marry her best, best based off her loyalty. Check this out. The only way I'll marry her is if I don't put her through hell and she's still here. Let me say that again. The only way I will marry her is if I put her through hell and she's still here. Now, check this out. This doesn't mean be abusive. This doesn't mean take her for granted. I'm not saying all this. You got to be you. You got to be yourself. Whatever you are, you must be yourself. And she must accept that and embrace that. Another thing, a lot of you dudes, y'all be marrying girls that done cheated on you. Uh, you, you, you can't marry a girl that cheated on Oh, uh, See, check this out. When a girl is in love with you, and when she loves you and she's truly there for you, she can't smash another dude. A lot, a lot of y'all, y- y'all be working it out with a girl who done cheated on you. And she's like, oh, I made a mistake. I, I love you. No, no. If your love was that strong and deep for me, you wouldn't cheat. You wouldn't go behind my back and suck off another dude. Get a train ran on you by another dude or other men. You won't do that. You can't marry that girl. You got to marry the girl that you done cheated on. You done went behind her back multiple times. Multiple time. Smash other women behind her back. And, and, and she caught you and she's still with you. That's the woman you want to marry. You need a ride or die. Ride or die. That's what you need. I'll be laughing at some of you women. Y'all be like, let my man cheat. My man got one time to hit me. My man got one time to cheat on me. It's over. You don't love that nigga. You don't love him. If a woman truly loves you, right? One smack ain't, ain't going to make her break up with you. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not. You cheating on your girlfriend if she loves you, will not make her want to dump you. You know what's going to happen if you cheat on a girl that really loves you? I know y'all won't believe what I'm about to say, but I'm about to say it anyway. It's going to make her love you even more. It's going to make her fight for you even more. Shut this out. If you smash a girl behind your girlfriend back and she find out, you know what's going to happen? If she really, if your girlfriend loves you, she's going to want to fight that girl she gonna she gonna run up to that girl job or wherever she be at. She like yo, such and such is my man. You better leave him alone. She gonna say this after 
she done know she she your your girl is gonna say this to the other girl after she know you've been like smashing her. That's what real love is. I see you dudes walking on eggshells around your girlfriend because you scared to lose her. You don't marry the girl you scared to lose. I be hearing you dudes all the time say, I got to marry her, man. It's the best I'm going to get. I got to marry her, man. I need her, man. I love her. Uh, this is the only girl for me. See, now you done messed up. Now you done messed up because now you put yourself in a toxic situation, yo. You marrying a, you, you marrying a girl that be flirting with other dudes, yo. You marrying a girl that's known to flirt with other guys at her job. You marrying a girl that you know has a work boo at her job. That's the girl you marrying. That's not the girl you supposed to marry. See, when I think of a wife, I'm not gonna lie, I think of Beyonce. You know, like Jay-Z and Beyonce. I think of Ike and Tina. Who else I think of? Think of? Like mainly Ike and Tina. I'm, I'm a, I was a big Ike and Tina fan, but I see how Ike really made Tina Turner the legend that she is, despite him being abusive. But see, that's the thing, y'all ain't see both sides. Like y'all keep forgetting Ch Tina Turner cheated on Ike too. Like th th this is why I'm so mad at the movie. What's love got to do with it? Even though it was a good movie. They didn't show you how Tina Turk cheated on Ike, too. She was out here smashing other dudes. You really think Ike, you really think Tina, her sexy ass back in the, back, back in the, what was it, the, the 60s and 70s? Oh, my God, son. Tina was a good-looking woman, son. She was, she was going by Ike turning back, yo. Yo. She got pregnant with another dude's child when she was with Ike. Right then and there, Ike should have left. I'm sorry. Right then and there, Ike should have left. I know I'm kind of contradicting myself because I said when I think of a, 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 a man and a wife, I think of Ike and Tina. But honestly, that part right there, she should have. He should have left. You should never be with a woman who had another man's child behind your back like who cheat on you behind her behind your back and got pregnant and had another man's child had you playing stepdaddy i really think i really think that's another reason why ike was abusing her so much because he had to live with the fact that here it is you in labor about to have another man's child and i'm right here with you nobody care about what ike went through man i know i'm getting off the subject but still Back to what I was saying, though. You want to marry the girl who you know is loyal to you, man. I don't want you to look at a pretty girl and then automatically assume, oh, she's wifey. Don't look at a girl with a nice body and automatically assume, oh, she's wifey. You got to ask yourself, is she loyal? Is she loyal? See, that's what you can't replace. See, you got you to gotta remember something. Looks fade. Especially with women. As women get older, like, them looks going to fade, son. Yes, she could preserve her beauty and all that, but them looks going to fade, man. If you marrying someone, you need a ride or die. That's what you need. You need a woman who's going to love you unconditionally. That's another reason why I'm not getting married. Because I know most women is not capable of loving me unconditionally. So, but if you do find that type of woman who will love you unconditionally, that's the woman you want to marry. Not the woman that tells you, yo, you got a you gotta year to propose to me or uh, I'm leaving. You dudes really out here marrying women that, that's giving you ultimatums. She gave you an ultimatum to marry her in a year and you did it. And I, I know dudes who personally did that. And guess what? I can tell they did it. Because check this out. When you see they wedding pictures, the dude ain't happy. He ain't happy. I seen dudes at their own wedding. They look like they ain't want to be there, yo. They look like they did not want to be there. And I know why. 
Because that woman forced you to marry her. You really think you want to come home to that woman every night? Y'all bugging. So in closing, the only type of woman that's worthy of marrying is the woman who has proved year after year after years and decades that she will be loyal to you no matter what. And that was today's episode of Like the Comment. Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go around, my nigga. Hello.